welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Maryland Terrapins and the UCLA Bruins. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I'll tell you what, when you're the underdog, you've got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. Tip off of the first half starts us off. The Bruins should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First of all, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Next, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Finally, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. He squares up down in the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. That was awesome, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Lobs it inside. Intercepted. Trying to feed the low block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. to go inside and they do they got on the low block for two the ball goes out of bounds and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but his shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what, let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. And he'll kick it back outside. Got some room. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Turns it over. The point guard gets the ball. Had a momentary look from three-point land. There's a double team waiting there. And the ball goes out of play. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. The point guard gets the pass. Fakes it. The shooting guard takes the pass from the top of the key. He drains it. Now trying to feed the low block. Trying to draw some contact. Great play to take that to the basket. In the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. 
Ata does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. They work the perimeter. Down inside. Entry pass in the paint. He'll go to the line. Gets it. Takes the pass in the paint. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. They go into the low block. Number 42 is getting some love from the crowd now. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Let's take a second look. Now they work it around the perimeter. High post flasher is open. On the dribble, gives it up. Got an open look if he wants it. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> the power forward takes the feed. He puts up the tray. UCLA have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for the foul. Number 35 with the finger roll. On the outside, the small forward with the ball. Nice to have you along with us tonight. It's Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. He buries the shot. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to count the guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He's got to pass it or make a play, Brad. Got the high pick. Look at that spacing. Looking for a good shot. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Basket falls despite the contact. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job a uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot i love this guy hook especially when you get great horse position on the interior another turnover and we're not talking apple turnovers either what should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. He shoots from the angle. Can't put it down. Dick is doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Up and inside. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I did the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. High post flashes. A little frustration right there. Goes up for two. And in and out. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Hunt. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. With the free throw. Makes it. That's seven unanswered. Set that screen away. Trying to draw the foul. In the paint. Marshall is fired up right now emotional. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. The Bruins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Takes it off him. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Well, this isn't the contest we expected so far. This is turning into a blowout, baby. Somebody better find some heart and start doing the little things. Great anticipation defensively. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Now this is home court advantage at its best. The crowd, the students, everyone is feeling good. For two, perfectly executed. Nicky's working on that low block and that right hip. I tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He does the sweet fake shot. Tries for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Gave it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. When you're one of the top-ranked teams, you've got to bring your best every night. Teams are always looking to knock you off. Brad, when you're a top-10 team, you have to realize that teams will give their extra effort against you. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. It sticks. <laughs> Takes away the pass. Pushes it up. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the dribble, gives it up. He pump fakes. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Looking for a good shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. <laughs> For two. 
for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. And now they'll bring it up. Strips the ball. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, in this David versus Goliath matchup, the stronger team is capitalizing on the turnovers and lack of defense. All right, thanks, Aaron. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. And they come with a double team to stop it. There he is, strips the ball loose. Rivers, pump fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Working it around the perimeter. They work it back to the outside. Nice fake. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Side. Up and inside. Unloads. Scorches the net. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Got a nice screen. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. On the outside. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliating. Poor job defensively. From the top of the key, way off target. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Look at that spacing. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Up and inside. Now they're working around the perimeter. High post screen, gonna use it. For two, perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. He shoots from downtown. He nails the bucket. Wow, let's check out the replay.
There's the trap. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picked off. Gave it up. He goes with a jump hook. Ate, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. Fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Jumped in front to take it away. Full court pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Down in the low block, trying to work inside. Oh, what a strip, Red. But inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. <laughs> Stolen away. He brought the ball back down. LaFleur has stripped him. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Show the replay on that. In the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Jumps into the defender. Hunt makes the finger roll. Ball goes out of bounds. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with the cheerleaders. Now that's a spectacle. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders, that's awesome, Brad. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Drains the shot. At the end of the first half, the Terrapins trail by 21. Dick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? Watch here. Pounding the ball inside like you see. And this highlight will take a lot out of the team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. UCLA is having a great night shooting the ball so far, but you got to wonder, can they keep it up in the second half? Well, it all depends on whether they get too confident or not. Sometimes when players shoot well, they forget why. Most of the time, it's because they're shooting high percentage shots. If you don't take bad shots, you're going to have a high percentage. 
All right, Dick, start of the second half. David versus Goliath. What do you expect? Well, I'll tell you what, in the second half, I expect them to really do a better job the end of the game of protecting the basketball. I think they got to do a better job because at the end of the first half, they started to really get away from the things they did earlier. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He shoots from left of the circle. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking for a good shot. Copeland pounded on his way up. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Go. Watch out, five second ball approaching. And the ball goes out of bounds. Pandemonium has taken over Pauly Pavilion. Look out. From three-point land, he shows the sweet touch. Dumps it in for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He's got a nice shot fake. He tries a jump hook, and off the mark. The land. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The Terrapins are trailing by 18. Takes the pass in the paint. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Controlling the ball. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. He gets it to go. He launches a three. Off the mark. the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. They still don't score. On the outside. On the inside. Leans in. Perfectly executed. Top of the circle. He couldn't get it to fall. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Good fake. On the dribble, gives it up. He's got an open look for the shot. And the ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? 
the team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. He strips him clean. Jumps in. Drains it. Take that to the basket. Here's a double team. He tries the three ball. He buries it. Fake. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great ball by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. You've got that right, Brad. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. He takes the three. Got it. The Bruins are up by 18. Working around the arc, he bombs from outside, gets it to fall. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Gave it up. Launches away. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Perfectly executed. The Bruins lead by 17. Come now on a turnover for the bucket. Up, easy one. Steals the ball. Fast break possibility coming. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the dribble, gives it up. Shoots way off target. Looking for contact. He hits it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Double team now, bad angle. He 
comes away with it. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Goes up for two. Maryland are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Robs him of the ball. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> two and he missed tries for two they're working around the perimeter for the bucket great play to take that to the basket They work it around the perimeter. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Isn't it great, Brad? Goes up for two. The Bruins have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Gave it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Three. Maryland are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Puts up the tray. He gets the shot to fall. and momentary look from three-point land. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He lets it go. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Nick, this one was not close in the first half. Still not close here in the second half. This is kind of what we expected, I guess. Hey, somebody call the bus driver. Get the engine going, baby. This baby is history. It is absolutely over. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Erin. Oh, I don't lose any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have a great post play, you got a chance to really to win. post player flashing with the fake here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer 10 on the shot clock for two I love this guy especially when you get great post position on the interior
on the dribble, gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really excellent on a post play. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Pandemonium has taken over Pauly Pavilion. Look out. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Moving it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. Look at that spacing. Defense giving some room. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball. Man, that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Going to move it around the perimeter. Lobs it inside. The ball goes out of play. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Great play to take that to the basket. perimeter the students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win oh yes the student body always full of comedy and excitement he was looking for the call and he got it on himself offensive foul definitely an offensive foul no doubt about it he beats him to the spot That's a foul. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. Steal. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He's money with the shot. Wow, can we get slow-mo, please? Dump it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. Unloads a three. Tickles a twine. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. He shoots from the elbow. The Terrapins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire.
Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He tries to knock down the three. It's no good. For the bucket. I'll tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. He tries the three. Buried it. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Time out on the floor. We'll have a little break in the action here, partner, while both teams talk it over. I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Can't get the shot to drop. On the dribble, gives it up. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. To the action. Tries one from three point land. He nails the bucket. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it? A clock management here? Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestler, this went superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play! Yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Foul, and that stops the clock again. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. To the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. He makes his second shot. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He shoots from the top of the circle. He shows the sweet touch from three-point land. Here's a double team. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. No doubt about it. 
Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Top of the circle. He comes up empty. The point guard receives the ball. Gave it up. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Shot clock is dead. He throws it up from downtown. Knocks it down. Pushes it up. Working it around the perimeter. The small forward takes the feed. Picks off the lazy pass. The shooting guard takes the pass. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. UCLA wins in this very competitive outing tonight. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.